process A completed, then only the process B will be starting their production. Okay, the process B is completed, process C will be getting a work. Kalpan and Copper approach, which is a famous approach used in the ABC. Whatever you followed in the third semester, the same pattern will carry for the fourth semester also. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to the introductory section of 4th uh, semester BCom Costing Methods and Technique uh, Introductions to Costing. So, I am Natesh Lachar in Commerce Vidyashram First Grade College Mysore, the Temple of Excellence. According to the syllabus 4th semester BCom, so the casting methods and technique, there are 5 units. The first unit which is related to job and contract costing because each and every business they are getting a specific job and the process and service costing. Third unit uh, which is active based costing. Fourth unit marginal costing. Last unit is a budgetary control and standard costing. Moving forward under first unit uh, job and contract costing. So the job costing which is related to the meaning you will get to know the more meaning of job what specific job they are performing or taking a responsibility. Prerequisite uh, and job costing procedure what kind of procedures are they are following and the features related related to job costing and objective of the job costing features okay and application for to where exactly the job costing are using okay the advantages and disadvantages of job costing so again job cost sheet in the last semester you have studied the only simple cost sheet so here job related cost sheet simple problem i'll try to solve and contract costing meaning because any contract construction basis the contract uh, industry construction industry they are trying to go for contract what kind of specific contract uh, they are trying to go for the contractor and contracting there are two person major person you will get to know the meaning and features of the contract costing the application of contract costing where exactly the contract costing are using and the similarity and dissimilarity between between job costing and uh, contract costing because which is not the same uh, so which is completely different from job costing so recording of contract cost uh, so whenever you are taking a responsibility for, for any specific two years contract three years contract five years contract you need to maintain proper accounts is uh, cost accounting is required so that's why the recording of the contract cost is very important meaning of terms used in the contract costing what what basic terms or meanings are using in the contracts costing the treatment of profit on incompleted contract the, the treatment if the contract if it is two years three years the contract is not completed in case of incompleted contract what is the treatment what how your accounting is representing so few problem which is only based on the treatment of profit incompleted okay so they according to syllabus they are asking for only for treatment of profit incompleted moving for second unit uh, process and service costing the process and service costing under because you know in the process in the industry there are different types of process will be going on the step process a completed then only the process b will be starting their production okay the process b is completed process c will be getting a work so the under process and service costing the service costing which is related to the service sector so under process costing what and all exactly you will get to know the meaning of process uh, and the features and application of process costing where exactly the usage of process costing and comparison between job costing and process there is a lot of comparisons between the respected job and process and you will get to know the advantages and disadvantages of a process costing and treatment of process losses when the process is going on there are two major losses we are identify one means one is normal loss and abnormal loss so the treatment the accounting recording is which is related to the treatment and gain gain in the cost 
first account there are two gains we are identified one is normal gain and abnormal gain that is also which is covered in the process costing and the preparation of process account few problem which is related to process costing and coming to service costing under service costing introductions to service costing because you know compared to physical product uh, the service sector service product is are plenty of course there is a standard costing is required so that's what we are following a service costing so application where exactly where and all they are using a service costing what is the different types of service costing preparation service costing versus product costing product which is related to physical but service is an intangible then also we need to maintain a record so that's what we are depending on the service costing and the cost you need to different service sector because a unit measurement is very important so the measurement what you are trying to take on preparing a cost for the service sector and the service cost uh, statement how you are representing your, your service cost uh, statement determination of cost for different service sector uh, you have to get in more clarity at the time of uh, cost determining and your major transportation service and hospital service even educational institution so they are asking only the problem respected to service transportation service hospital and education institution the problem preparation for service cost statement for these three sectors only there are plenty of service hotel club charitable trust so everything is coming under service but here the focus is only on the three things moving to third unit activity based costing activity what kind of activity which is related to business organization you need to maintain something like a costing recording is very important here the introduction exactly when they introduce weakness of a conventional costing system okay so that's what the which, which is a recent majority most of the area they try to adopt this uh, account abc costing a activity based costing what are the characteristic you can identify and the kalpan and copper approach which is a famous approach used in the abc so the cost driver and the cost pool allocation of overheads because there are different types of indirect cost which is related to overheads right under abc steps in the implementation of abc what are the steps different steps or stage we are finding and the benefit from the adoption of the abc system when you, at the time of implementing at the time of adapting a abc system what benefits uh, you are getting and uh, difficult faced by the industry in the successful implementation of abc if they want to implement the abc what difficult they find uh, in the particular third unit we will get uh, together we are solving few problem which is related to the uh, activity basis moving for fourth unit uh, so marginal costing the marginal means what which is an additions right so marginal production okay so here you will get to know meaning and definition of marginal costing and marginal costing uh, features of marginal costing terms used in the marginal costing what are the major ratios uh, which is the pv ratio profit volume ratio break even point uh, so 100% expected one question for 15 marks or 10 marks okay marginal cost safety angle of incidence okay at the time of plotting the graph you will get to know the difference uh, the break even analysis assumption and use you need to assume few things okay so break even chart uh, theory the problem on the cpv analysis now last uh, unit 50 unit uh, budgetary control and standard costing budget uh, because any department there are different department they are setting their own budget so which is related to the production budget sales budget so there are different types of budget uh. in this particular unit the budget control introduction you will get to know the meaning and definition of budget and budgetary control what are the different uh, methods we've adopted and the objective of budget control why they are setting in a budget why they are preparing a budget before starting any activity the essential requirement of budgetary control here the advantages and disadvantages of the budget control what and all advantages and disadvantages you are finding the types of budget which is functional there are different functions going on so that's what the 
different functions wise they are setting a budget production budget sales budget so there are cash budget here major the cash budget sales budget purchase budget production budget fixed and flexible budget the problem which is related to only they are focusing on this according to your syllabus flexible budget and cash budget 100% expected one question in this topic so the standard costing introduction use and limitation where exactly standard cost are using okay the what are the limitations or demerits we are finding variance analysis the here there are different variance the standard is set for the material that is nothing but material material variance the standard is set for labor labor variance even the overhead so there is something standard is set for the overhead so which is overhead variance okay so the problem of material labor variance uh, which is also 100% expected question so you know uh, the total paper is set for 100 marks okay so 40 marks for internal and 60 marks for external again the 40 marks can be there are two components one is under continuous internal evaluation continuous and comprehensive evaluation either record submission group discussion presentation skill development there are too many activity which is related to this one and in the institutions they are conducting a two internals okay each internals papers will be 30 marks so 15 marks two question you need to attend so the total which is scaled down to 20 okay so now 20 plus 20 the same pattern whatever you followed in the third semester the same pattern will carry for the fourth semester also the total component is uh, internal 40 marks now at the end of the semester you are writing 60 marks for the semester end examination there are 60 marks is assigned altogether the paper is set for 100 marks so here at the end of the semester they are conducting a university is conducting a semester end examination so here the question paper pattern so there are three part part a part b part c part a which is carry for seven question you need to attend any five question each question will carry for two marks so two into five ten marks okay and the part b there are four question you need to attend any two question each question will carry for ten marks so the ten into two twenty marks part c will carry for four question you have to attend only two question each question will carry for fifteen marks so 2 into 15 30 now all together if you add the total external papers which is set for 60 mark moving forward so there are few textbook reference uh, John K and uh, Vijay Gangotri strategic of fast management press uh, publication New York uh, and SP Jain and KL Naranga advanced cost accounting Kalyani publication so there are few uh, textbook which is reference purpose so anyway we are providing a notes uh, if you want you can refer this textbook keep on watch for next section thank you